Radio. ATF Radio. Number one. Broadcasting 24-7. You know that is. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. 366 if it's a leap year. TGFRadio.com. We never stop. Yeah, 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 we in the building. Yo, my man, you can't come in here with the drink. So I just... <laughs> Yeah, Abu just watched the wire to the the camera right there. We're getting some some house some house cleaning issues out of the way. You know what I'm saying? We all here is the Cypher Show DTF Mother Effing Radio. Oh, I I gotta turn your microphone on. That's what it do. What's up, shorties? Hi. We got two little angels in the building with us tonight. Uh, yes, we are here. My man Abu, yes, intern sir. extraordinaire, is with us. The infamous smooth ass DJ, also P-Wise. known as P Wise, is in the building with us. Oh, I should turn your mic up. That would help. Say that again. I said, what's going on? It's another Friday night. Another Friday night. Another Friday night. Put your shoes up. Put your shoes on. We about to get started. Um, We've got someone who hasn't been here for a while. Pretty girl. Let him know. You just love to talk shit, right? I'm just saying, I'm acknowledging your existence. <laughs> it's been a while. Happy New Year. I know. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy All Thanksgiving. All of that great stuff. Word. Happy Easter. We ain't seen you since last March. No, it hasn't been that much. Like, seriously, if anybody, I hear me saying this on air, if you know of any beautiful neighborhoods and beautiful apartments, please let me know because I have to get out of the mountain. She's all up in the boondocks in the log cabin. Word. Yeah. You too far. It's too far. It is. Yo, Abu, just move the camera slightly this way. I came here for y'all. And I'm getting another and I'm getting another storm starting it too. They said three Damn. inches of ice. It's an ice storm. No, actually the other way. I'm sorry, the other way. Because all the snow melted. It was like Perfect. sixty degrees. Go back a little bit more. It was all pretty outside. No, no, turn it. Oh, turn it like that one. Perfect. <coughs> So you getting another snowstorm? Yeah, storm like coming. all the snow melted, and they like, and it's been raining all day. So right, right. we had just got a regular flood warning. Then the kids get out of school early. They sit at work. I get notifications. Damn. They said starting about two a.m. We expect you ready for this? Two to five inches of ice. The the temperature is gonna drop to about what they said negative two tonight, and it's raining. What? So we're where's, in like a warning. Hold on, where's this? Yeah, this is. I live in, I live in the Catskills. You ain't know that, B? Damn, no, I know that. I'm all the way mm. upstate. Uh, wow, that's, okay. that's why she hasn't been here for a minute. And it's, it's crazy. Weather. Like people would literally think I'm bugging, but it's like I'll be cool during the week. I'm like everything is okay. And it's like by the time Friday come, I'm leaving work early. The vehicles is grounded at my job because we in the middle of a snowstorm. Like Damn. literally every week. That's crazy. It is. You got to move out of there. I'm I'm trying, but I'm... I'm so how do you guys yeah, cope with that? Honestly... She got to chop the firewood, got to have the firewood right. ready. I have invested in a generator. That was one of the things we invested in big time this year, and it worked because... I was without electricity during that little blizzard thing y'all mm-hmm. had. Wow. We first of all, y'all remember I was I was talking shit. I was like, oh, y'all about to get it. Mm-hmm. They said it was going past us. You end up getting it. How would we wake up with four inches of snow? Dang. The lights was out. Dang. We was eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches <laughs> for like two days. Yo, with so chips what's, the, on the side. What's, what's the power company like up there? Nice egg. I hate them. Okay, it sounds like it's a shitty. company. Nice egg. Man. I hate yeah. them. But it's Damn. like up there. It's like in the mountains and it's open. So when yeah. that air and everything hit, it's yeah, over. Yeah, like it. the snow. The head. Once the snow come. And it's all coming from Canada. No, lake effect snow. Y'all know what lake oh, effect snow is? Yeah. And what's crazy, I didn't. Snow. I never knew. I'm like a year into this lake yeah. effect snow. That's like some serious shit. <laughs> lake yeah, effect you snow. And I live on a lake. You can ask, ask 13 because he had came one time for the girl's birthday party. He came and he was there for an hour and he was like, I got to go. I was like, why? We look outside. It's like two inches on the ground already. He's like, I got to go. Y'all about to get 10 more and I, I got to go back to the city. That's crazy. It's crazy. 
Well, we're glad you're here with us. Thank you. Did y'all miss city. me? Of course we did. You know, yeah, I be tuned in. I'm paying attention. I hear abs, you know. Good, good. Love. As you should be. Legacy, you know, your report. I'm all trying, that. You know, I'm trying. Me on the ones and twos. What's up? I don't know where Diz is right now. Hopefully, he's all right. He's on his way. Yeah. yeah should be on Shouts play. to um, my man 13. We just came from his pop-up shop. Right. At the studio, his little office there. Shout out to Vandal Hour, Checks and Balances. I know, I gotta go through the, through the studio. I mean, the little office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some things coming up, you know what I'm saying? You'll hear about it. Um, big shouts to the artist who's gonna be in the building with us tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jules is Jules. her name. She's a little uh, cutie. Jules. I see a little picture. She's cute. We also got um, one of the A&Rs also here. From uh, what is it? Federation, Federal District Records, Federal, Federal District, District Records. The other That's artist nice. that we was gonna have come through, he's not gonna be able to make it tonight. So it's just gonna be more shenanigans. Can can I can I ask her nice questions? I can ask her like pretties pretties questions because I ain't been here for a while, so you know sometimes yeah, I be yeah, acting. Up. I can just sneak in and ask. We got like a no filter type interview. Yeah, I'm just course. asking because you know as I just like to ask questions, <laughs> in whatever of pops in my head. Of course. I, I think uh, like when your questions aren't written down, they just come off the top. It makes it more genuine. Yeah, especially coming yeah. from me. I, I like to know. <laughs> she said especially. Because I be liking to know. Like I ask the stuff that they not going to ask. Oh, please. You know? you... Please. I but do. I don't know if y'all heard about this. It's definitely the last times and days. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if y'all heard about, uh, what's his name? Uh, genuine. How um, he, he was at some interview, or something, and some transsexual. Oh yeah, dude, she asked him, "Would he go out with a transsexual?" And he was like, "No." And then she, he tried to kiss him, and he pushed the, he pushed him away, and he got all this uh, flag all hate. You know what I'm saying? So, you know he's transphobic or whatever. The because term he is. didn't accept the kiss. Right. I don't agree with that. So one has no mean, not mean no. Exactly, and they were saying if he was trying to do that to a woman, trying to kiss her, and they she was like, no, him. that's harassment. In this generation that we live in, that's normal now. Is that what you're trying to say? Because no, I brought it up because it's going even further. Um, I read that the transsexual community is trying to get laws passed mm. that says a heterosexual man has no right Kabu's <laughs> face. Yo. A, sec- a heterosexual man has no right to say that I do not want, I do not find transsexual men, women attractive. They are trying to make it that um, it's going to be seen as a hate crime, that you're a bigot. Okay, just like, you know, the pedophiles Oops. want. Exactly. To be accepted into our community as the fact that they have a disease and it's a disorder. Like, I watched a whole special. I had shared it on my page. I don't know if y'all checked it because y'all be paying attention to shit I be sharing. Oh, but it be making sense. I'm just saying. And he's a pedophile and he's interested in kids that range from ages three to, um, what did he say? His stop line was about 13. Wow. And he's saying that he doesn't act on his sexual instincts, so therefore he's not really considered a sexual predator, but he suffers from a disease and he just wants to be accepted into this world so as, you know, he wants more... his sex, his ahead, gender to be, he wants it, he wants to be genderized, like he wants it to be legal. I want to know, if it was his kid, what was it? What is it? Pedosexual, yeah. So it was a whole special. Yeah, like he really, somebody really sat down and gave this man a platform to talk about it. They followed him throughout the day. That's They walked with him and he's telling you, he's like, you know, he got pictures of his friend's kids on the fridge and he said, but they trust me and they know that I'm not going to go that far. I don't act on it. But, you know, it does spark my interest. Young boys at this, let me oh add, God. and this is what they're what fighting is this for. World coming what to? is this world? Why are we even having these type of discussions? You know what I'm saying? Well, That's ever since crazy. Trump started tweeting, this is when everything became okay. Our president is oh. on Twitter, so what do we really expect? Matter of fact, bringing up Trump, I gotta throw a little disclaimer out there. <laughs> oh God! What you for did? my comments from last week. Oh my gosh! What comments did you make? Uh, uh, you might want to ask the kids to put on the the headphones. No, 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 no. It's not not crazy. Right, um, last week I gave a list of things that I don't want to see in 2018 anymore and with we'll, the new year, and oh, one of those right. things were Trump. Okay. And I kind of sorta 
kind of kind of sort of advocated for his assassination on air. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I just want to say those are not uh-huh. the views of Decipher or DTFRadio.com. These on are air, it's not. Legacy Stars. Uh, thoughts and views. If you want to send hate mail, send it to Legacy Star Six Thousand at Gmail. But I was going to give a full blown apology. Why? But you shouldn't. Just to be, you know. But after reading everything and seeing everything this week about how he's mm-hmm. calling and countries, his comments, the country, shithole, right. And on top of that, a report came out that back in the day, his father was arrested at a KKK rally. I yeah, I heard true. about that. He was friends with like one of the KKK uh, like Grand, Wizards Grand Wizards, or something yeah. like that. that so, true. no apology. Fuck an apology. Fuck you, Trump. I don't care. I'm. I agree. Right. If I was here, I would have been on your side. I would have backed you up, light skin. I would have dead backed you up. She called them light skin. That's Crip call uh, thirteen call. He was trying to call the station. Like stop it, shut it down. But oh, boys, man, had to shut you down. Like you was going in like that. Yeah, I was kind of going. Yeah, in. He was going. So in. you kind of like said like you. He, he was he like, brought, did you have brought, the whole assassination on air? Like he you brought had that first. He brought air. that first the show of energy on. Oh, I basically said that. Oh, okay. I'm co-signing it, um, and I will help you, whoever does it, escape to Canada, and that I was going to start a GoFundMe page. Wow. But now, in my news report today, uh-huh. I'm really going to go in. As you should. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? Um, hopefully, Diz, the icon, will be here soon. I know 13 is not going to be able to make it. Yes. But um, And I hope you came prepared with a rumor report. You know she came prepared, man. I mean, Look I have a lot of things to talk about. But, you know, it's one specific thing I'm going to definitely have to touch base on. All right. You so we're going to get into all of that. All of that, all of that. Abu has his tech news. Because, you know, if y'all was paying attention to things I sent y'all, y'all know I'm on a rant. You have know. know I'm on a rant because he was well. the only one who felt where I was coming from. You see how they dubbed me yeah, over. You, did, you, did you peep in? Yeah. Well, Vanessa, man. do you see how I get treated sometimes? I just want to make sure you caught that. Is, <laughs> and shout out to you for always just on what, sidebarring where, me like, what's good? Is where you did good? you send or what? Mm-hmm. To our thing we got going on, you don't ever say that. Yes, wow, I expressed them. Well, I saw the thing you put I was about in my feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't even get a damn like he said that. Wow, did it happen? I said what? it. I didn't write it. You, you yeah. said it. I said you it. You could have sent right it in a text or something. I, I said damn, and I put my. Phone but anyway, down, whatever. And Yo, I continued eating my food. I be anyway, doing whatever. the same shit. Where I'm you be like, thinking <laughs> you. You think, but don't let Ab gas you because he might have been doing the same shit, but he responded to me. I'm just saying though. Just saying. Nah, but like, shout out to you because you was trying to keep their memory alive, and right? All the, that, you know, it's, it's I know it's, it's, it's a lot. Up, Did you man. see that? We, we I'll talk about that when we get back. That, that day, I did, it's a too. lot that came off yeah. of that. I'll talk about that when I get back. We'll get Very into good. that. Stay tuned on the Cypher Show, baby. Yes, sir. My man P Wise, let's get it. Yeah, yeah, shouts to DJ P. Wise playing those classic Jones right there. Yeah, it just kind of had me on my bop just now. Where they, yo, P. Wise, where they from, Tribe? They from, even, from Queens, right? Jones already, don't even bother answering him. They from Queens. You know that already. Yes. We here at the site for DTF. This is how it goes down every Friday, 9 to 11. Pay attention, put your shoes on, back it up, all that good stuff. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. There's the icon is in the building. Yo. He looking all sexy, y'all. See, y'all can't see the whole thing, so I just gotta let y'all know this came in here trying to look like a little joint tonight. Uh, Thank you. All black is very nice on you. All black is very nice. Are you finished? <laughs> Are you done? We back in the building. It's time for everybody's favorite part of the show. We're gonna get into these segments right here, and then we got Jules in the building. We're going to chop it up with her in a minute. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Oh, in case you didn't know, also last year I said, uh, last week, I want I don't want to see Cardi B no more. You can't do that. Yeah, we're doing it. You can't because they want to see her. That's all right. She can't could do it. just shut up and sit down and do some music already. Well. And it's time. It's time. 
for your weekly rundown. So yeah, as I said last week, you know, I, I got a little amped with the whole Trump bit and he got even he got me even more angry this week. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I was sitting around and I was just so be happening to thinking about uh presidential deaths. Presidents who've died. And you know, I was thinking and um, found out that one third of our presidents have died in the months of June and July. President uh, Andrew Jackson, James Buchanan, Madison, Polk, Grover Cleveland, and Ronald Reagan, fuck him too, and Thomas Jefferson. So I was thinking, you know, it's January, February, March, April, May, June, July. It's about six months, give or take, if anybody's plotting anything, <laughs> that it wouldn't look too suspicious because, uh, you know, most of them die in, in that's how you're gonna June do that? or July. That, that's, you camouflage that's it how like you, that? That's how you carry Good, on tradition, okay. you know? You know what I'm saying? And that's how we camouflage it, okay. And, you know, like I said, there might be an underground railroad to Canada if you, if you do do it. But, you know. <laughs> okay. Um, no president has ever died in the month of May. Wow. It'll be a first. It's the first time for everything. Are you like throwing, are you subbing right? Is this like sublim, subliminal nah. messages you're sending out? Not at all. Not saying to do the math, but um, yeah, two exactly. plus three does equal five sometimes. Oh, you know? Right? Okay. <laughs> I'm see, P-Y-C, where I'm coming from. And um, <laughs> there were also three presidents who died um, mysteriously in the White House. And they actually did some some new uh, investigating and found that three of those presidents that I just mentioned, they died because of White House water. Wow. Is it like Flint? William Harrison, James Polk, and Zachary Taylor all died. They thought they had pneumonia and some type of sickness, but they did investigations and found out because of the time it was in the 1800s, you know, it wasn't too sanitary. And um, they found that the drinking water wasn't too safe. So, you know. Welcome to our world. If, you know, number 45 happened to drink some contaminated water, and he killed over during his executive time when he's doing nothing but tweeting and playing golf and being a racist bastard. And doing a whole lot of other stuff, too. Yeah, you know, you might not, you know, you may not, it might not be too suspicious. I'm All I'm right. saying. I, I do I do question, like, his whole golfing thing, because he was definitely, he was definitely on president, uh, former president last president's back on that mm-hmm. i think he did like 82 days of golf out of the year like that's more yeah about obama yeah right. yeah yeah he was talking about obama and golfing but trump has been golfing constantly i think more right, than right. more than yeah. the radio show he don't got nothing <laughs> to do he, he yeah, he's not doing nothing what else can he what else should he be doing and they said that president most he of i got a multi suit <laughs> most of what he's done is to undo a lot of what Obama has done. He has not done anything. No, he hasn't. So, month of June or July, if he was to drink some... May's an open slot. You know, there's a first time for everything. Wow, this this is a very camouflaged conversation. You know. know. Just remember Canada and the GoFundMe page. That might be popping up sometime soon. So, uh, I, extradition, though. I think you're gonna have to. Well, I, you know, I got family in Canada, okay. <laughs> you know, I got family in Vancouver, and that's like wilderness. You got the tundra Vancouver connection, I got the tundra place. connection. You know, <laughs> you might be able to slide to Siberia, you know. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, tundra connection. I'm just saying, tundra connection. But uh, yeah, and that's that's your weekly rundown. June or July. 
Let's make it happen, people. <laughs> Let's go, America. Yeah. Let's make it happen. I can't even. That was very interesting. I'm just saying. That was a very interesting rundown you just gave. It was very that, cool. that was called the I'm just saying report. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. But yeah. Let's get into these dis facts. I do, but we're gonna go in this order. Oh, I'm we're gonna, gonna go. Lie. Yeah, we're gonna go in a cipher. We're gonna go in this order. I'm passing it to you. I'm passing the blunt this way. Oh, that's that's her music. Yes. Oh. Oh well, go ahead. <laughs> Playing her music already. All right, so go ahead. Dun, 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 dun. Uh. Sorry. I apologize because you know what? I'm so distracted by Diz's <coughs> eyebrows because they're so perfect tonight. Like, I'm a little jealous. This crazy. I'm a little jealous. So it's just distracting me. But anyway, My you are, <laughs> are the same as they've always been. No, they're just a little <laughs> extra fleek today. I'm mm. just saying. Very nice, nice by the way. Extra Some girls will be upset. But anyway, mm-hmm. you already know it's your girl first, a.k.a. the pretty one. And I got the unofficial but official rumor report because, as always, whatever just comes from me just makes sense because it's coming from me. I have, you know, just a little couple of things I'd like to, you know, bring to the surface this week upon my little trials and tribulations of seeing what's going on. So we were talking about Trump, you know, legacy, you know, had a little Trump's view, yes. whatever. So... Now something had came up, and Trump is a little upset about it, and I'm surprised that you guys haven't seen him tweeting. Did you hear about his lawyer paying 130 k to silence this adult film star about her sexual encounter with him? Because this encounter happened to happen approximately 375 days after he was married to, what's her name? Ivanka Trump. Yes. Wait, Ivanka? No, no. Melania? No, Melania. 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 Who's yes. the porno star? So, um, Stephanie Clifford. I don't know Stephanie Clifford got all this money. Her name, wait, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, what's Stormy stage? Daniels. I don't know who that is. Has anybody watched the videos? No. no. She's she's cute. Nobody wants she's to cute. See that video. Now you're ready for this. A month before the presidential election, she accepted 130k to be silenced to not speak on it because they did not want that to have anything to do with Trump becoming the president of the United States wow. of America. Wow. Ain't that something. So now, people are a little unhappy with Trump, and she's actually one of them. She stated she's not really happy with what's going on with him, so she just kind of... She going to talk now? Chatting. She going to get sued Chatting. up her ass, man. What? Well, that's she probably not the told only thing them, and she said that she doesn't. She feels that she's not doing anything wrong <laughs> because they had consensual sex before 2006 and after 2006. Stormy Daniels. So now Michael I Cohen, Trump's videos. lawyer, Michael Cohen, his lawyer, is out there like, no, this never happened. We never paid her. We never paid her. And apparently she's supposed to be coming forward with some hard, hard evidence and facts to show us that this really went down. Hard evidence. Yeah. This, 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 she's, no I mean, pun saying, intended. You know, I wish that the people could see, because I had the picture, but, you know, no, we don't have access, but this is Stormy Daniels. Do you see her? This is Stormy. Oh, she's pretty good looking there. Stormy Daniels, if you want to come right. tell your story on the cipher, please hit us so up. So I'm just saying, like, it just caught my attention because you out here slandering and throwing this around and you getting your dick sucked just like the rest of these motherfuckers that you're talking about. I'm just going to keep it 100. I'm of sorry. Course. I mean, our president likes to tweet and he likes to get, you know, okay, it's cool. Executive Makes sense. Time. So I just feel like he can't really be so judgmental the way that he is because, you know, that's his executive his, time. His life ain't really changed either. Okay, now that's one. We know about what is his name, Little Pump. Y'all know who Little Pump is. Yeah. I don't really know how y'all feel about Little Pump. I'm just kind of like. Eh. I know Little Pump. I don't listen to like, his how music. How do you though. feel about it? How do you feel about Little Pump? He's whack. Diz, how do you feel about Little Pump? I thought he was dead. Okay. Um, wow. P, how do you feel about Little Pump? That's what I'm saying. He I mean, I played music one. for the club. Apart from that, no interest. Right. Okay. Little Pump, aka Gazzy Garcia. That's his real name. G A Z Z Y. That's on his birth certificate. Gazzy. Shout out to his mother. I'm sorry. Gazzy no disrespect. Gazzy. It's just not my cup of tea. Gazzy. G A Z Z Y. Okay. Dominican mother? Um. I don't he's know white, what I he think. is. He's, I think he is white. Is he white? Yeah, he's like Caucasian. Caucasian. Anyway, after he came out with the whole Gucci gang, Gucci gang, everything, and he's going oh, on, and him. remember him and all these songs, he ended up leaving Warner Brothers. 
Would y'all believe that everybody wants him? Yo. They from eight to twelve million on the table. They're trying to get him to sign. Yo, but you everybody. know everybody. What's crazy about that though? He signed the deal when he was fifteen 16. for three sixty deal. Sixteen. And then now they went back to Warner Brothers. Like, yo, you did the what you gonna call it? He signed the the um what what is it the deal? And he was a minor with nobody with no mm-hmm. adult supervision present. Uh. And then the money that they had gave him also. Wasn't the amount. Wasn't the amount. Yeah. So now he's Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci All gang. All the way to Everybody. Bank. Wow. Free agent. Eight to twelve. Eight <clears throat> minimum. Like, they like, yo, everybody wants him. Like, so that kind of just caught my attention because I personally, you know, I'm, I believe I'm like a hip hop head. I don't know what that is. He lost me with the hair. He lost me with everything. I mean, Gucci gang, Gucci. That was a nice song and all that, but it That's the way. didn't really make that much sense to me. It, but it didn't, but at the same time, it it made noise somehow, and it's just like okay. Yeah, I, they did. Not that I would expect it for like my for our demographic, for like late twenties, early thirties and up. They might they might jam to it if they hear it in a party, but they're not gonna be like, yo, let's go buy it. But the younger kids are just like gravitating love it. towards it, and they love I it. guess they weren't expecting that from his deal whatsoever. Mm-hmm. They so weren't. Like, nah, they didn't really have that faith in him. Nah, nah, so nah, now nah, he's nah, like. That, you know, now that he's up, like, yo, he has that power in his hands to say, like, yo, I want this deal instead. Mm-hmm. So now he's like, they said he's the hottest commodity in hip hop. That's what they said. What? I just want to let y'all know that. He's the hottest commodity that? in hip hop. This is what that? the people are saying. I mean, what people? I don't know. Hey, that can't be our people. I don't know. I just thought that nah. that might spark y'all interest because it kind of sparked mine because, you know, it's just really not my cup of tea. But apparently he's the, once again, hottest commodity in hip hop. commodity. Probably is. This is what they say. Anyway. All right. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. I'm sorry. I know that you're not really like That's into this bringing the Cardi B into 2018. But we have to because in reality, she's kind of. Regardless of how she did it, she got she earned her spot up here, and she's up here finessing and stuff. You can't front the song, the video is like it gave me like a '90s feel. You can't even do that, but anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. the finesse video. I was like, anyway, we man. already know that you know this whole offset thing with her, which I personally thought that it was a gimmick, but I guess apparently maybe it's not. Um, it just came out that offset cheated allegedly has a son. You know he's trying to fight it. No, I'm with Cardi. I didn't cheat. Da, 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 da. And then she comes out and she makes a statement. So she says, I'm going to just stay with Offset because any new nigga that I get is going to do the same thing. So why won't I just deal with it from the person that I love? Mm. Okay. Stupidity. So she's Mm. getting a lot of heat from that. You know, then you got, I personally don't, I think that sounds a little. Because you don't know when somebody's going to cheat. So do you just sit here and get treated like a piece of S-H-I-T because you don't want to start that process no, over? No, not if the person's whatever? treating you good outside of the cheating. Okay. That's what you think. What do you think about <laughs> that legacy? I think that's some stupidity. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, she's she's in a position where she want to be. You know what I'm saying? She had the illness come up in 2017. Can't take that away from her. Mm-hmm. And she want to stay, you know, um, but, uh, Migos, they popping, they hot right now. She they don't want to leave that they spotlight. They silk shirts. You know what I'm saying? With their curtain shirts. You and, know, you know, with the button, a little, the little, you know, cottage sheet hanging out. So, yeah, of course, you're going to stay in that situation. Yes, what you think about that? I don't. <laughs> P, how you feel about that? No comment. Okay, so. And that's how I mean, y'all feel, man. Cardi B is nice. I mean, though. but this I, is I, how I, I feel. Him. You ready? This is how I feel. And I'm well, just hoping, well, I just, just understand me before I sign off of my rumor report. You see them little things right there? They Bodak Yellow to death. Right. They body Cardi and they, they love her. They're only six. You get what I'm saying? So just in watching TV, she's making these statements and she says it so blatantly and everybody's talking about it and everybody's talking about it. So let's just go up to the 13-year-olds that actually can kind of understand what she's saying. Oh, it's okay if the man cheats and does whatever he wants to do because at the end of the day, we're just getting money and we're getting this and that and it's all good. I'm not okay with that message. And only reason I say that is because she's so influential. Sometimes I wish that they would just take a step outside of that box and just pay attention. Like, damn, like, it's cool, but all right. If that's what you want to tell the kids, okay, sure. Your man can cheat. He can do whatever. All that. But as long as you're getting money and you get the good part of the deal, just stay with it. Do it. I think it's because they got an understanding. Like, as long as you got an understanding with a person, can't nobody. You, you, anybody can say whatever they want. 
and you solidified. Mm. So I think they got an understanding between each other, like, yo, this for the bag, and we going to do this and do that. They got an understanding. But all them little girls is listening to her and saying that, that this is okay. They don't have that understanding. So this is when this evolution, I mean, here shit, it goes. they going to find out. I mean, yeah, they just going to find, sure. Then here we go with the whole change. I mean, I could go on with that. To see the trends that our, you know, our young females pick up and take. Right. But anyway, you already know. I just feel like, hey, Cardi, I rock with you. I love you in 2018. But I just sometimes so just want example. you to take a step back and just, you know, pay attention to the small things that can along the way eventually end up big. You know what I'm saying? I mean, our kids already think that you got to be a stripper to get to the top, right? Why not? Ooh. But anyway, you already know. There's Cue Me Out. Sit your ass down, Cardi B. Anyway, you already know it's your girl first, a.k.a. the pretty one, a.k.a. all that extra stuff with your unofficial but official rumor report. And as always, if it comes from me, it just makes sense because it just makes sense. Sit your ass down. <sighs> Sit down. Going through like I, I kind of felt like I wanted to twerk and everything, and I had that, and then you just brought me. <laughs> just been picking me up since he came in. He just been picking me up and just dropping me. Damn! Oh, since he walked in the door, just yeah, picking man. me up and just it's dropping. Cipher, it's the cipher show Fridays. This is this fun fact? <laughs> Sponsored by Made for Kings Made Television for King. and uh, Paper Eight Hundred Eight Publishing. Mm. Bang bang. Um, let's get right into it. Fact number one. A cluster of bananas is called a hand. Huh? One single huh? banana is called the finger. For real? So if I give you a banana, I'm giving you the finger. The finger. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> you, you, you want to explain. <laughs> so wait, okay. Also, Bring it back. If I can. See what I did there? That was, all right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> number th- I felt it. I felt it. I, <laughs> can, I got it. Fact. <laughs> Fact number two. Number two. The word photography means writing with light. It means what? Writing with light. Photography. The word. In what language, though? I don't know. Don't ask me about the facts. Just so know does that, that go into the whole thing of facts. what a photo? Like, Pretty much. I think I know oh. where he's going with this, though. I kind of think that's what, cool. What happened? Nah, because I hear bananas and then I hear photography, and I'm thinking of the H&M situation that happened earlier this oh, week. Oh, nah, that was dope. That is dope. But nah. I could just be reaching, though. Yeah, you. you but it was a hell of a reach. That would have been like some it was real, a hell like, of a that's reach. A, like a nice connection. Like, that's a true artistry. I'm yeah, that, that, that is, that's if I really felt like being in depth like you know. that. Okay, <laughs> what's the third one? What's the third one? Oh, yeah. I, I only do three, right? Wow. Yeah, and the third and final fact, <laughs> since this is a hip hop show. Uh huh. Fact number three uh, rapper LL Cool J's mother used her tax return to help jumpstart his music career. Ooh. Did a, she? That is a real woman. That's a real woman That's right there. I mean, <laughs> That's a real woman. Because you know how hard it is to get a female to come up with them taxes? Especially tax if you got returns. like a few kids. It's hard. People been using their tax returns to support the hustle since, you know, late since 70s, early back. 80s. Wow. So. Word. She's a she G for that. That's some yeah. real shit. That's what's up. It's going to take a lot to get that hey, tax mom, return. Hey, mom, I need five that. I need five K, I man, wish my brother would give me a tax mom. return <laughs> jump start something. Word. I can't even get a dollar. Yeah. Shit. And those were my facts for the week, so oh. I'm going to take myself out of here. One more. It's fun facts. Cypher. Well done. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this, is so, this room is full of life. I um. Let's see. What we doing? Wow, boy, this week. What we doing? Oh, it's a new joint every week, man. Nah, nah, nah. nah here I'm we go. Excited. I forgot. My bad. That's your music. Yeah, that's my music. Gotta <laughs> make that shit work. Come on down. Oh, okay. <laughs> if y'all could see this from this view, it's but okay. <laughs> I just wish y'all could see that. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's your tech boy I bull with the news for two. Well, this week, so. So all of you guys that be using your credit card and your debit card, uh-huh. 
and then you gotta wait for that box. You know, our scammers, they love that box. Once that box come up, you know it's lit. So, Visa has just announced that they're gonna do away with the box. So, no more signatures. So, for everybody out there that don't wanna wait for that box, uh -huh. yeah, man, that's green light for you to take your shit and go. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. No more we like that. Oh. We like Scam that. Sure they would. Like like think, what y'all think them scammers like gonna do lit. now, man? What? No find signatures? A, they'll find another way to, to get Yeah, but it, 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 no you, you, you know it come with a... Listen. It gotta be something. Yeah, man. So no signatures. They gonna boost up the security on that. And I don't wanna throw too much out there, but they gonna clip your shit if you trying to go out there and hit that box and it don't got no box and you think you green light it. So just be smart out there and be safe. Be smart, be, and smart be, and be safe. Be smart and be safe. But they taking the box out. I feel like I'm the only one that's lost right now. Why? Why? <laughs> you mean the, the signature I'm box? The, the signature box. What? No. Facts. Are oh, you talking about on the back of the card? Nah, you know when you... Like I said, I'm lost. Yeah. It's okay, man. That's all right. We here with you, bro. You honestly look so handsome tonight that that doesn't even bother me that you <laughs> don't know that. I'm like looking over that. I'm just like <laughs> so be I'm caught here because you look yeah. amazing tonight. Just thought it Wow, chill. people. Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. It's, it's really going down on the It's going down. <laughs> and other news, GM will make an uh, anonymous car without steering wheels or I... pedals by 2019. Yes. Yes. I'm kind of wondering how that's going to... That How do y'all feel like without... A steering wheel in the whole pedals. This is like it's gonna be a gotta, weird feeling. You gotta program your destination. Probably it's gonna probably be GPS Name and it. all that. Alex, you gonna hunt fifty third. I'm saying to right? the crack spot. To the crack spot. Going to the trap. Are you going to the crack spot, sir? Yes. <laughs> so they're gonna be <laughs> mass you. producing these self-driving cars that lack traditional controls mm. and steering wheels and pedals. And what's dope about it is the car show's coming up in like eight. In April. Is it April? Usually yeah, yeah. Jacob Javits, it's yeah. Real soon. Yeah, it's coming up real soon. So I'm excited. They're gonna give us a little preview on that. So stay tuned. Marty Take McFly. me to ninety third. Wow. It's like Marty McFly. Are it's you going to the in side the Back to the Future? Didn't they have that when you went in? You didn't. Mm -hmm. You said your destination, right? Listen, Ooh. man, the future is here. Yes. The future is here. The future is here with the end of the world. We yes. ain't to talk about it, though, but just saying. And the U.S. Supreme Court will be revisiting rulings on collecting internet sales tax. Like, when you check out, I'm pretty sure they're already taxing your ass. Because I know they're taxing my ass. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? So I don't know what that's about, but mm. they talking about that the states, like uh, the states and like mom and pop shops that do get taxed, they going broke because they're getting taxed and everybody that's shopping online is getting away scot-free mm. i'm like wait what part of the game is this it's the new game wow because i know i get taxed do you get taxed always always of course always listen man if you're gonna put a, well, if you're gonna put a new law a tax code in there listen you gotta look out for other people's pockets man not just their own right you Don't know you gotta selfish. think about the little guy man you can't be taxing us like us it's not the time of the little guy day. no more it's Word. not like we ain't got Ooh. money we ain't got salaries it's like big, that no it's more big corporations nobody want to pay nothing nobody want to pay nothing it's getting real out here yeah man crazy we're ronald reagan now we gotta bring the reagan era back b it's a lot oh, going hell on. no we don't <laughs> <laughs> reaganomics hey, did you just say that yeah no you didn't I, why well, i said that pertaining to the drugs you know oh like we got I mean, oh. we gotta find an alternative here man it's always gonna be here Listen, they better leave. it's about to get real they're it's about to legalize real. crack you're gonna go to crack dispensaries and listen how many millionaires y'all think gonna come out of that I never legalized crack. Probably. Well, in, maybe in another 50 years. You never know. You man. never know with the weight of this world. Is another going. 50 I don't they know. might. Kanye might be the president in the next few years. You never know what happens. About to be able to pop yeah. animals legally, molest uh -huh. children. You legally. able to do that now? Might, exactly, legally. So you about to be able to do a lot of wild things. Same right. type of time. Right. Y'all heard that, hey, right? Crack Same type of time. It's going to be legal in about 50 years. All that. Yeah. I'm just saying. So yes, much. and that was your tech news with your boy Abu. Very informative. Yes, sir. I learned something. Pieces. I really wish y'all could tech like really news. just see how serious. And I was gonna say something, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. But yeah.
Let's get into a little mix. Then we're going to come in with Jules, the artist. And we're going to chop it up and keep it going. We here at the site. Yeah, yeah, we back in the building. The Cypher, DTF, Friday Night Lights. And all that, and all that, and all that, and all that, plus that. <laughs> yes. And a little bit more. Yes, yes. So we got a dope artist in the building with us tonight. Very pretty, too. Oh, thank you. Very pretty, too. <laughs> Very pretty, too. Goes by the name of Jules. What's up, everybody? Thank you for having me. Oh, thank, thank you. you for being Ooh. here. Thank you for coming. Thank you here. for coming. <laughs> So, so, for those who don't know, for those who live under a rock and don't pay attention, who is Jules, the artist? Uh, well, I'm an R&B and pop singer and songwriter. Okay. Um, I'm with Federal District Records. Um, I know you guys probably heard of them. Nimrod and Joey Bass are the CEOs. Okay. Um, been with them for two years, and since then, just been building my fan base. Came out with a lot of videos, a lot of material, and just looking forward to this year. Okay. So what are you expecting this year to happen? Um, actually, we're going to be working on a short film based on a song that I wrote. Um, it's about um, two completely opposite people falling in love with each other. Uh, it's going to be like a 20-minute short film, so I'm giving you guys like the scoop on that. Okay. Um, and I have a single coming out called Patiently. Um, the date is to be determined. It's going to be in the next couple months, and it's about a woman waiting for her man to come home so she can spoil him. Ooh, that, that's a very nice. nice. Where, that is nice. Where he coming home from? <laughs> Work. Oh, okay. But y'all seen, did you peep the storyline? Because that does happen in real life. It I does. just want to say it does, and it I'm does, happy that she said does. that because it does happen in real life. You know, they don't give us credit for nah, that, but it does nah. happen. Don't listen to her shenanigans. <laughs> okay, That's I just didn't dope. know that it happened in real life. Wow, wow. Next question. You guys please. are neglected, shit. Right. <laughs> That's what I said. I don't know who y'all be messing with. <laughs> <laughs> Gunshots in other place. <laughs> okay. That's what it do. Are you going to be acting in your short film? Uh, yes. Okay. In my last video, I acted too. It's called. Uh, it was called So Gone. It's about losing someone to drug addiction. So I did a lot of acting in that as well. Mm, okay, that's what it's up. That's, so how long you been doing your thing as a as an artist? Um, taking it seriously and going hard for about six years. Um, I've been singing since I'm about twelve. Okay. What motivates you to continue performing and everything? Honestly, my daughter. My daughter. Mm. She. I, I don't want her to see her mother with a talent and just give up on it. Like, I want her to know if you have a talent and you have a passion for something, you keep going. You know, you don't just quit because it gets hard. Right, right. So she's really my motivation. That's what's up. Yeah. That's beautiful. Thank I respect you. it. So where are you from, Jules? I'm originally from Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, and now I live in the Poconos. <clears throat> well, okay. I was actually going to ask that because <laughs> we could hear the accent. My daughter. I thought she was from Bensonhurst for a second. No, no a lot of people think that. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I'm from Greenpoint. I lived um, in a few places in New York. I lived in Queens on Long Island. Um, but now I live in the Poconos. In New York and Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> So how do you feel about the, the, the state of R&B music right now? Um, a lot. Well, me, I feel like it's kind of dying out. Like hip-hop, obviously, like everybody's about hip-hop. And a lot of people associate R&B with hip-hop. Like if, if a singer's on a dope track with a hip-hop artist, that, that's really when they get recognized. Um, I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on R&B right now. Mm. Mm. I got to disagree with you. I think hip-hop is probably transitioning. To what? To what? More mainstream than before. And you think so? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And because yeah. everything is more main, everything is live. Everything is online. Mm -hmm. Content is free, is now is more free than it was before. Mm -hmm. You don't got to wait as long anymore. Right, right, you, right. You feel right. me? So I think it's like going through a transition, but it's going to get its shit together, though. I, I hope Hip -hop so. Hip-hop lives forever, man. It's forever. I, I hope things, you know how, like, you know, things come back into fashion, like right. trends. I hope hip-hop is the same exact way mm -hmm. because right now I'm not very happy with... Girl, the I mean... The next, <laughs> little pump. The, hey. next, the next wave for hip-hop right now, I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen. I think I'm going to be the first artist to do it. 
Ooh. I'm gonna put out a record with an ill beat and just ad libs. <laughs> <laughs> like a. This guy's crazy. Uh, Dead serious. That's the, yo, that's the next. Yup. Those is gonna Queens. be. Queens. Yo. Like that. <laughs> Shit, boy. See it. Like the that. The whole record. You yep. heard? Like that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The whole record. You the, probably get a lot of love on that track. I'm, I'm not gonna front. I'm trying to tell you. That's the next. Nice, <laughs> like so the music is gonna be in two seconds. Just <laughs> like the just the ad libs. Ad libs. The whole ad-libs. song gonna be a hype track. I agree. That's that. What I said. I'm Gucci coming Gucci with it. Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Like Gucci that. <laughs> um, that skit from Dave Chappelle when he was a rapper. Turn them shit. He was like, up. yo, turn my headphones up. Yeah, yeah, turn my headphones up. Turn my. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's a, that's a that's a good concept. Turn them shits up. Hey, this. How much you gonna be selling it for, man? Huh? You got I'm a, a whole album. Of like, I just kind of feel like let's get this collab going. He, you heard him, so then you just gonna go in there, right? And, and you gonna do a little voice, I'll do a some little voice, too. yeah, just a little voice yeah, and just, a little. That's ooh. it, the whole like a ooh. Ooh. shit. Yeah, we gonna all do ad libs. I wanna join in on that shit, man. I don't wanna be left out. It's a collaboration of ad libs. I'm just saying the ad collab. We gonna get it started. That's gonna be the site tonight. Just ad libs. The ad collab. Go ahead. If you need the feminine like <laughs> touch, you're like yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Got you, right? <laughs> right. This this could be this is money right here. <laughs> and I just want to say we set this on the site, but so if anybody else come out here with this ad lib shit, hands and feet. Yo, I just, Hold on, wait, we gotta copyright this shit like right after the show. Listen, yeah, absolutely. Handle it. That's handle happening. It. Yo, I, I just gotta say that was that was kind of creepy because after you did that, it was like yeah. <laughs> oh, but yeah. you know what's crazy? No, like no, sh- don't even respond to that because that's where his mind was at right I there. Mean, it's all and good. he was, he, you see where he went with that. I'm it's saying, okay. though. So yeah. we know what's going on in there because that was like a little off. But it's all right. I understand. Don't <laughs> listen to the shenanigans the that bus. are being said. You, t- you telling the people don't listen to the shenanigans. Wait, wait, you call it her shenanigans. So what do you call his? Right. It's nothing. There's nothing to call it. I'm so happy. Oh, we don't, oh, we don't get a gunshot on that one, though, right? <laughs> Thank you. Somebody said it. Wow. Somebody okay. said it. You heard that, Diz? Oh the my. guest said it. There's no I in team, but there's a. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Go ahead, like, come on. There's Questions, like, let's go. There's an I in let's get you. Let's go. Wow. Okay. Bus driver. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> What's your uh, Outside of your daughter Right What inspires you To keep writing R&B songs Um Personal experience mm-hmm. You know Um a- Every day is a new experience Whether it's A personal relationship Or relationships That I I see Like you know What they go through Things people tell me I'm also a nurse Okay So mm-hmm. I oh, kind snap. of apply What I see in real life To my Damn family. How you get the time Uh a lot of a, a lot yeah, of uh, sleep of deprivation. <laughs> okay, all right. So she just like set the platform for me. So because <clears throat> the people probably. So, hey. are you like married or anything? No, not married. Do y'all hear that? She's a nurse. I already see that she's a good mother, and she on here with the whole music. That's the package right there. That's the package right there. I'm just saying, that's the package right there. She ain't got no time for a nigga. I'm t- <laughs> Put it out there, man. Put it out there. But you know, listen. But listen. So you peeped it because she's she like no nurse. Time. That's that. She's busy, so she needs to be catered to. Because when she get that free time. She need a second. So, fellas, she if you want to give some foot rubs, some back massages, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you want to just, you know, let me know inbox. I may be able to set this up. I don't know yet, but I'm just saying. Uh, but it has to be that type of way. So, right? uh, yo, this sound like a how to treat your woman type of <laughs> I mean, tutorial we I got going on I'm, over I here. I just threw out something. I just threw it out there. So, on that tip, would you um, prefer to be with... Someone who's in the industry as you're an artist, or would you want them to be like a regular Joe? Good question. Um, I would prefer an artist or, or somebody in the industry just because I need to, I, I need somebody to be able to... To relate. To relate. You know, I don't want a, a, a guy who's just an average Joe, no offense, but, you know, <laughs> just so, somebody who works a normal nine to five, I don't want them to not be able to relate to what I'm doing. If I need to do a music video with a guy or a photo shoot and the photographer's mm. a guy, I, I just, you know, a lot of things. And understand that. Yeah. Right, right, so right. So I think that's important in a relationship. Mm. Yeah. She just cut half the. <laughs> no, that's interesting because <laughs> a lot potentials. of art, when you ask what artists you about their preference, a lot of people say that they don't want. To date an artist, so that's to see it from that aspect is t- a little different. Yeah, because we've had people who've said I would prefer somebody outside of 
the mm-hmm. industry. But you know, it's it, whatever. It's probably because of personal experience too. You know, I've I've been with somebody who wasn't in the music, and then I I have been. You know what I mean? Like, right. so I've seen both sides. Mm-hmm. You know, and there, there's pros and cons to both sides. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But in my experience now, I yeah, somebody in the industry definitely. Okay, mm-hmm. that's what's up. And, oh, y'all listening? Who, <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all who, listening? Who has been um, some of your influences that you know you listen to? That made you want to get into singing and whatnot? Um, from the beginning, Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston, Celine Dion, uh, Mariah, you know, the powerhouse voices. And then moving on into, like, the pop era, it was Christina Aguilera, mm-hmm. um, Kelly Clarkson, okay. Adele. You know, I love powerhouse voices. Mm. You know, mm. so Which one of those powerhouses would you like to collab with? Mm, which one of the ones that I have mentioned? Yeah. Probably Kelly Clarkson. Okay. That nice, very nice, very I, I nice. I love her voice. She does she country, does. doesn't she? Well, she's from the country, but she's more of like a pop. Mm. But her I, voice? But it's like a raspy, like, strong, She got that voice. Yeah, she has a very, very different type of voice. So I, I would definitely, wouldn't mind collabing with her. That's what's up. We got Jules in the building with us here on the Cypher Show DTF. Let's get into some, uh, some music. See what she's working with. Well, we're gonna rock out to their PYs. Gotcha. Let's get it, pay attention. Uh oh. Would you like to introduce the song first before we, before we start spinning this real quick? This one's actually called Beautiful Liar. Um, it's gonna be released. You guys actually got like a little, you know. Oh, exclusive. Exclusive. Exclusivity. Oh, well, you, know, you, gotta, you gotta add that little uh, exclusive really stamp on it. You already know we got Exclusive, but that exclusive, beautiful right. liar. So wait, hold up, P Wise. Pretty girl, set it up. The exclusive, give that little Everybody, shit you <clears> just <throat> did. You already know you got your girl Jules in a building, but that exclusive meaning it's new, meaning it's never been heard before, hey. except here tonight on the cipher. This hey. Friday between the hours of nine and eleven hey. p.m. Beautiful liar, what you know about that? What you know about hey. that? Hey. Let's go. <laughs> I'm a beautiful liar. 
ain't even going front and throw that little plug in. I can hear. I can definitely hear me on a remix. Like Word. that's like some for Word. real. I can that's definitely hear me on a remix. Let's do can it. y'all hear me on a remix? <laughs> but that was nice. Thank you. And I can hear um, Diz on it as well. Given the male perspective, he just had to throw that one. In there. <laughs> he just had to throw that one. Just in to there. throw it up, change it up a little bit. That's unique. A lot of people, you know, give both perspectives. But that would that would be dope. That'd that be would dope. be dope. Beautiful Eye remix. I like dope. that. That could definitely hit out on the radio. That's that. Word, that's that's a hit. That's a hit. I feel like Dang. I see me on the elliptical, like. <laughs> Word that works. I like it. Yeah, getting upset. <laughs> I mean, I, I get it. You know what? I, I don't know. Like, a lot of people um, ask me what that, that song is about. And it's actually about a woman who is acting like she doesn't care, mm-hmm. like, about the guy and, like, the, the stuff he did to her. But in reality, she really does care. So she's a beautiful liar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a, See, that's a twist. That was good. Yeah. That's a twist on it right and there. And the females right there, like, that's, you know, music therapy right there. When that's you're going right. through one of those <laughs> moments, you got that glass of wine, you're just sitting there listening to it like... <laughs> And then shit, you break man. the glass. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this nigga. Hold on, I, that's like a, like you got like a whole that's for the remix. video thing, that's for the thing going on here. I'm just saying. Hello, just saying. Then, like we do all this here. Like I mean, I don't know. That's so, like you got a whole treatment up there. I see a whole that. treatment. Hold up. So she's drinking the wine. Uh huh. And she's right. Like, she smashed that shit. And I just get mad. And then this come home from work. <laughs> Right, like, and what's he, wrong? As you, but as you see, but <laughs> as that's as he's coming his in the verse. door, like the camera goes, and you see like the picture of us, like we happy, and then I'm just looking at him. Mm. And he coming like, what's up? <laughs> like, what's, what's going, going on? on? We just did a whole treatment there for you. That's free. You <laughs> right. can hold that. You can right, that. you got Thank that. You. Right, just make sure that. you let them know what you got it from us. Other than that, you got that. No Thank problem. you. I appreciate the ideas. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how do you structure your songs when you write them? Do you like listen to the beat first, or do you write them down first? I used to come up with a melody in my head, write the song, and then try to apply it to a beat. But I found myself having a lot of difficulty as I was progressing. Mm -hmm. So then I would just be like, you know, looking for beats. Mm -hmm. And if a beat just kind of clicked, I would come up with the hook first and then come up with the lyrics. And that's how I do it now. Mm -hmm. So So for all the the young ladies out there that's listening that, you know, want to get into music or the industry or what have you, What's the best advice that you could give them for what you have learned from your experience so far? Be smart, keep your eyes open, and um, don't, you know, you got to follow your gut instinct. Don't always believe people when they tell you something right off the bat. Mm -hmm. You know, do your research um, and just be cautious. Because as a female artist, I mean, I'm not saying it's difficult, it's not difficult for male artists, but for female artists, Mm -hmm. men come at you a certain type of way, saying, oh, I'll get you this, this, and this, but... And mm. there's always something attached. So for young women or women in general who are looking to become an artist, you know, just just be really careful and stay true to yourself and your passion. True. We we had a um, female artist up here a few weeks back, and she said somebody invited her to a studio <laughs> to record. Mm. She went, and she said she walked in. It was dark. There was a red light on, and the dude was naked behind <laughs> <laughs> The boards, the boards. <laughs> like you ready to do this or what? What's you know up? what I'm saying? That's so crazy. Up, on that tip, <laughs> it happens. Y'all don't know. Like up, I have baby. stories. It's real. Like yeah, you got corn balls out there that really think shit like that is okay. You know what's crazy though? I mean, I don't know. How, if a chick was running he, and shit, and, and she was behind was... the boards naked, I'd be like. Eh. <laughs> would you be behind the boys thing? Like, could I just, could, like, I, I'm just asking. Like, if do you me think, and her had an understanding, right? And I'm then not just like, going to surprise her with the wings. But that's wieners. what I'm saying to surprise somebody like that. <laughs> like, nah, yeah, that's kind of pushing it right yeah. there. You're I'm su- not just going. You're uh, surprised with pictures, but you won't surprise like that. If the, I only send pictures shots. upon request, don't do that. No, I didn't mean it like that. So oh, look at so you, you caught you caught real defense. Ooh, no, no, no. I don't what even want to continue about? it. You said surprise because I felt with pictures. The, the defense just like knocked no, me down. You just said knocked me down. I was surprised with pictures, but not in a, like. What are you saying? I don't, I don't even want to elaborate on it because like the again, defense kind of knocked uh, me down. Pictures get sent upon request. Yeah, I do that. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> That would Shit is all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I can never run for office. <laughs> 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 Hold up. Came over for me. <laughs> I had to put that out there real quick. Though. My this guy is crazy. <laughs> let me just let y'all know. My opponent is going to try to come up here with some pictures. <laughs> I did that. They can, it yeah, was if me. he was running for office, they could come up with some pictures, this? What? You be out, really, this? Listen. 
You're not even trying to say that was like Photoshop. No, just you just. I'm only going to say Photoshop if it's unflattering. But I can't see. <laughs> so you I would see, claim it. Everything I, I said is, is official. You gotta, you gotta oh claim God. that. You can't. I'm gonna say it was me. There's I don't no getting you. around it. I'm gonna do like him did. I'm gonna let it be known. Like first, when I start running, like you got a real candidate here. I've even sent these kind of pictures to things. So if they pop out, you know already I did that. And well, I, I mean, at least, at least you're being upfront. I respect the honesty. Listen, I tell my voters, look, if you want to flick. Go vote. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Go hey, I, okay. I'll vote for wow. things. Why yeah. not? Yo, wow. you got Roy Moore in Alabama. Wow. Oh. Got rape charges on him. I'm just saying. Saying. You got my vote right here, vote brother. For, whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. That was no like. Clicks for you, wait, bro. Whoa. Oh, right. uh, I don't know. Nah, but I get but, it. Nah, I appreciate it. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah. No. I appreciate it. Okay. This is for president 2024. Yeah. Let's uh, get into some music here uh, from Jules in the building. We just went left, right, down the middle, back Only again. on the Cypher show, oh, baby. Upside this down. This is what happens on a Friday night. This is what happened. Hey, it is what it is. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's Whenever fine. Are you enjoying happens. yourself? I really am. So then it's fine. <laughs> that, that, hey. It's fine. It is what it is. Right it now, is what yes. it is. Let's get into it, Jules in the building. About to cop that next single called Breath. Let's go. Everything outside is gray and lonely. Spark electricity in our city. Yeah. Let's light it up. Falling under pressure, I can feel the butterflies. Or oh, you blow smoke inside my mouth.
listening to DTF Radio. DTF Radio. Number one. Breathe. I like that. Like okay, so ready, right? Inhale. So Diz, I wasn't even gonna say that. I was Exhale. gonna. I, I wanted. I, I need eye contact right right now, Diz. Can I just get eye, real quick? Can I get eye contact? Together, can we breathe? I don't need you to take care of me. I don't need none of that. Just together, can we breathe? Did you hear that? I'm falling on my knees. If I sing that to you, would you be like, damn? I'd like, be like, yo, get up. I like that song. Get off the floor. That's it's a cover song. Is it? Yeah. What are you doing down there. Yeah, Jesse. It's a Jesse J song that I rem. I like Is it? Redid. Yeah. I like that. Wow, Dang. it's dope. You said I. <laughs> Was you thinking about an old that? fling when you wrote that? Actually, I didn't write it. It's a cover song. Oh, but I'm saying like, was yeah, that, like I, I've been living under a rock. Actually, man. no, I feel been the emotion. And like rock. we were singing, did you have one of those moments like, because you yeah. know, like I always therapy. when I'm when I do a cover song, I always try to choose a song that I can relate to because mm-hmm. I feel like it brings out more emotion. Right. You know what I'm saying? Girl, you had that emotion like that little together we can. You breathe. just put her in a state of mind like. <laughs> you, know, you know what that look reminds me eyes. of? Like think back to like <laughs> one of those scenes, the original Rocky. What was that song? That that song that just got you going, like it was like you know, I had a tiger. Uh, yeah, like I can hear that be. Oh, you're not on the same wave. Like, yeah, I feel like, you. Like, but you feel like, like a soundtrack. Ta- okay. No, I got no, you. No, no, soundtrack. We got it. You get yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. And the scene starts. Look into my eyes. Like I tried to get the eye contact. Like yeah, like I tried to like open that passageway, but this wasn't really trying to help me with it. Y'all get there. Y'all get there. <laughs> I've been trying, like you know. I understand. Like, <laughs> trying to be on the same wavelength, you know? Trying to. You know, he coming yeah. here, his eyebrows is all done and, like, nice and perfectly. So he's fucking shady, but it's okay. I'm not even like, worried about it. <laughs> Don't listen to her. Eyebrows are <laughs> clean. Hold on, they because are, like, she'll, have, me, she'll have you thinking that I get my shit done when I don't. I, Let no. me see your eyebrows. Let me see them. Huh? Show me your eyebrows. Look, they look. They do look kind of done, though. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I, they look nice, I'm blessed. But the fact, forget the fact. <laughs> I, I wasn't even trying I, to throw out the and say, like, you, you got them done. But you said he came in with his eyebrows done. You but said that. But I didn't that. mean it like that. See? Okay, but that's why I cleared it up. Because right, I didn't y'all. want it to be All a right, misunderstanding. Let's, okay. This is going to get his eyebrows done. But them She's just complimenting nice. your No, no, I, and I appreciate it. I appreciate it. That's why I, you didn't it's hear. Not the, it's not the first time I heard that they look like I get them done, but I they don't. They kind of do. I'm blessed. You know yeah, what, though? I realize a, a lot of men have nice eyebrows, and we have to, like, work at it. We have to go get just them like done, plucked, and all that. Yo, my wife tells us say that all the time. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, are we done with the eyebrow talk? Okay. Okay. All right. You're going to say you just shut us down. All right. Okay. I'm just saying because, you know. Uh, where where can um people hear your music and all that good stuff? Uh, right now, um, on SoundCloud, you can look up Federal District Records, or you can look me up um, personally. It's Jules uh, J U L Z underscore Federal. Okay. Um, also on Audio Mac under Federal District Records, and on YouTube, uh, you can find all my music videos. Federal District Records. <laughs> how, how did y'all he end up? How like... did you end up with Federal District? How did that happen? Um, well, actually, Nimrod, um, the CEO, he hit me up on Facebook because mm. I had just released um, my first um, EP ever, and um, I was getting a lot of good feedback from it, and he found me through Facebook and my music. Um, and he reached out to me initially, and I was working with somebody else at the time, and then once that kind of went sideways, he hit me up again, and mm. he introduced me as the Federal District Songbird, so that's... That's where that's it is. It. I've been there for almost two years now. Okay. That was a nice little union. Hey, we got the uh, Federal District A&R in the building hey, as well, as long with myself. Hey, Sean, you want to say something? Not really. really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and we can't um, dismiss the fact or overlook the fact that mm, say uh, it. Mm-hmm. intern extraordinaire over here, Abu, is also an intern for Federal District yes, Records. Yes, yes I you. am. That's called work. Yeah. That's called work, yeah. man. That's yeah. called work. Yeah. Thank you, Abu. Thank you. You're welcome. You're He's welcome. out here He's working. He's putting in that work, yeah. It's, it's refreshing to see a young brother with such ambition and energy. Yes. Um, can I also do one more shout-out? Of course. Um, I just got an interview with Smoke Magazine, and he did a photo shoot for me. So I just want to shout-out Smoke Magazine. Kells, you are the shit. Thank you. Um, you guys can. Is dope. Thank you. You can get it on magcloud.com. Smoke Magazine, up. volume, I believe, five. Like what they got you wearing? Like you was like, oh, like. Girl, I will show you. That shit is sexy as hell. Y'all already know. Do you have a a a project that's dropping soon? 
Um, I have a single called Patiently that'll be coming out soon. Um, the graphics will be out for it shortly. Um, estimated date is like a month or two away because um, okay. we have uh, Venomous, um, our first lady of Federal District, her new song is coming out far away. So okay. after her, I'll be releasing something. But I'm also working on my album, um, Words of a Woman. Okay. So. Did you That's see the love right there, though? I just have to point that out. Like, that was so genuine. Like, females don't do that nowadays, so I respect her genuine. Did, you, did y'all catch yeah, that? Venomous. That says a lot. That's like a character trait right there. All right, Thank go you. Ahead. You're like, you're, wow, you make me feel really good about myself. I'm just saying, like, I got I to gotta, gotta point those things out. <laughs> got to point those out. It's all about women empowerment yes, here it on is. Decipher. And not Always. only that, team empowerment. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people don't know about teamwork. They don't, they don't believe in that. It's all right. me, me, me. But yeah. if we all build together, then we all come up together. What's That's true for my generation, work? too, though. Is everybody is just about me, me, me. I'm like, get out of here. Nah, that's, not, that's not the way to win these days, you know? Not at all. So before we get out of here... Would you like to do something live for us, or do you want us to play Ooh. another track? Ooh, put you go, live, go live, go live, go live. I mean, we always like the live. I I wouldn't mind the rendition. Live, As cipher saying. tradition, you gotta go live. You I'm can't sorry. escape. Nobody's All right. safe. All right. I mean, we're dead serious about this ad lib. <laughs> right. So everybody, let's shit. Thank you, Pete, throwing that in there because we 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 we're dead serious about it. But yeah. Hell yeah, that sounds hot. I'm do you want to do a cappella to a beat? No, I'll do a cappella. All right. Oh, Pay attention, Jules in the building. I got to record this. Do <laughs> uh, you want me to wait? <laughs> so every I'm here. Friday, I'm here. 9 to 11, produced by May Kings. Here we go. <clears throat> All alone on a Sunday morning. Oh. Outside I see the rain is falling. Whoa. Inside I'm slowly dying, but the rain will hide my crying, crying, crying. And you, don't you know my tears will burn a pillow? Set this place on fire, cause I'm tired of your life. All I needed was a simple hello, but the traffic was so noisy that you could not hear me cry. You from that that Lisa Lisa era? Yeah, that's like the oh, third person Yo, somebody said, said that, that on the live, man. <laughs> you got that Lisa Lisa vibe to you. That Thank was you. dope. Hitting them notes. Thank you. Clear. Word, and you can hit the notes clear. Clear. That's what's up. Thanks, Pitch guys. control. You know what I heard? <laughs> I heard a little, uh, I heard Tamia. Oh, that's thank you. Mm. That's, that's a big compliment. You was getting that stranger in my house, right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I, that's yeah. what's up. Definitely. And uh, where can people follow you on on social media? Everything you can follow me, Jules underscore Federal. So um, on Instagram, Jules underscore Federal. Um, you can find me at your Jules Y O U R Jules um, on Facebook um, and. Like I said, everything's Jules underscore Federal on Twitter, SoundCloud, everything. That's what's up. Yo, you're very talented. Thank you. Very Thank talented. You. Thank you guys so much. You have a good aura about you. Very. Thank you. You're going to be a superstar. Yes. Thank Just you. Don't forget about Decipher when you get your don't platinum plaque. I plaques. definitely won't. Yes. Thank y'all for having me. Thank you, Abu. Thank you're you. You're welcome. We're going to have yes. you come back and have some other artists from Federal District come through as well. Definitely. Yes. Sure. Shout, Shout out to our team, Federal District. they all talented. Nim- yes. Shout out to Nimrod, Joey Beds, Venomous. Shamika, Cal, Lyric. Nimrod, Lyric, Sean Smith, Abu. We, damn, we, we, we rolled deep. Yes. We rolled yeah. deep. Yes, and she also likes nice hot baths with the flowers in them and her feet rubbed and back massages. That does not Some mean she wine. wants you sliding in her DM or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Thank you. Nice Thank bottle you. of wine. Let's throw that in there. You Moscato, know, preferably. Thank I'm you. I'm just no, saying. Moscato. <laughs> I can't, really. Everything she say, you're going to go back on it. <laughs> Moscato. He's, he's my ad lib director. I see this. There you go. Those some ads. Ad libs. Stay tuned for the ad lib track coming. Definitely. Yeah, that's happening. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm-hmm. Straight so, Pretty Girl, as you're here this evening, 
You know how we does it. Take us out. Yes, yeah, ma'am. yeah, yeah. With all them shenanigans and that little extra atom. But you already know it's your girl first, a.k.a. the pretty one, a.k.a. bars over pretty, a.k.a. all that, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm here with my boys every Friday to cipher DTF Radio. But your boy Legacy Star, your boy is the icon, your girl pretty girl. Ah, you already know. Brought to you by Made for Kings. With DJ P. Wise on the ones and twos, lighting it up like he does every week. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. You know, the sight.